Hey guys, we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Onyx 245 uh, LiPo charger by Duratrax. Uh, this does charge quite a few different kinds of batteries, LiPo, nickel metal hydride, uh, pretty much all the kind of batteries that you could use for RC, so let's go ahead and tear into this thing. I picked up this charger for its versatility. Uh, it looks like it, it's got quite a lot of good features for the price. Uh, it was $119. Uh, open the box here, we got the manual. And here's the charger itself, of course, the LiPo warning. It does come with all the connectors uh, for LiPos. You can charge up to 3S LiPos on this. And then it's got all the different balance and ports that you're going to need. It also comes with uh, alligator clips because you can charge this off AC or DC power supplies. So you can do your wall supply or if you're out in the field or something, you can uh, charge it with a car battery. And then it also comes with uh, a set of Deans, a set of Traxxas, and a set of these other kind, I'm not sure what kind these are too. These look like the old uh, nickel metal hydride kind of plugs, Molex or something. So you get two sets of each, so you're covered, Dean's, Traxxas, or whatever kind you have. Uh, Dirt Trax has got you covered. The charger itself looks a pretty good quality build. It does have two outputs, so you can charge two batteries. Uh, independently, uh, whether it's two lipos or a lipo and a nickel metal hydride, you just have to set up the settings for each individual battery. It has a cooling fan on the side, uh, the ports on the side for your balancing port, and it also has an extra connector to charge your uh, transmitter pack. If you're if you have a, a rechargeable transmitter pack, you can plug that in there. So all in all, it looks like a great charger. Let's we'll go ahead and get some batteries on here. Alright guys, we got the charger set up and plugged in. First thing you want to do is go ahead and plug in your uh, charging terminals. Red to red, black to black. Then you want to find out which balancing port connector that your batteries take and match it up to the one on here. Then go ahead and connect that on each uh, side of the charger. When you turn it on by default, it sets up for nickel metal hydride batteries, so you're going to want to change it to the kind of battery that you're charging. We're charging uh, 2S LiPos, so we'll go ahead and change that to LiPo by just hitting the settings button once. Once you have your required battery selected, hold and press and hold setting to access the charge voltage. I already know that these uh, 2S 40C 6500 milliamp batteries can charge at 5 amp. After you have the battery type set up, go ahead and connect your battery. Connect the balance charger, then connect now we'll go ahead and start charging the other side. Go ahead and select LiPo. Press and hold. Check our amps. 5 amps is default, which is our charge rate for these batteries. So that means we're good to go ahead and connect our battery. First connect the balancing port to the one that corresponds to your battery. And then connect the main power. Push and hold start to start charging and now the battery has begun charging. As you can see here as the battery is charged, it does relay some information. It tells us the amps at which it's charging, the current amp of the battery, and it tells the milliamp hours. You can hit data to select through it. Oh, there's the milliamp hours, voltage, amps. So it gives you a bunch of info. Uh, it tells you how much is on the battery and stuff like that. And uh, it looks like it's working pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and let these batteries charge and then I'll give them a good run tomorrow and we'll see how they go. Uh, so I can get some more runs through these packs. One of them I haven't even charged once, the other one I only charged once and ran it once. So tomorrow these will be fresh charges and we'll have some new video footage of them running with the new body and new wheels and everything. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty awesome and I'll do a follow up review on this charger after I use it a little bit more. Thanks for watching guys and checking out my videos. If you like the video, please subscribe. Check out the channel. We got a lot of other RC videos and a lot of other videos about other stuff. So thanks for watching.